How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get bigger arms for skinny guys at home. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. If you guys really want to see my arms, you guys can go on Instagram. I have lots of pictures of my abs, my arms, all that stuff. Um, so to get bigger arms for skinny guys, the main, the number one mistake that people make uh, beginners, skinny guys, is they don't eat enough calories. Uh, they usually go pretty hard at the gym, which is good. The only issue is if you're working out hard and you're not eating enough, two things will happen. One, you won't gain muscle and two, eventually you won't be able to get stronger. For most people, you need to build muscle to get stronger, even for power lifters. Obviously, there are some that can add strength without building muscle, but eventually you just need to get more muscle. And you will not get more muscle if you don't eat enough. So to get bigger arms for skinny guys, you just need to eat more. There have been studies done that have shown to gain one inch on your arms, you need to gain roughly 15 pounds of body weight. So if you're watching this video, let's say your arms are 13 inches, you're sitting at 130 pounds. To get to 14 inch arms, one inch on your arm, you would have to go from 130 to 145. If you wanna gain two inches on your arms, you'd have to go from 130 to 160. When I first started training, I was 5'9", 150. 150 or 145, I think it was 5'9", 150. 5'9", 150, my arms were about 13 inches, I believe. I believe 13 inches. So right now I'm sitting at 5'9", 193, and my arms are 17 and a half inches. Um, when I get up to about 210 pounds, my arms are about 18 and a half inches. Um, I could get 19 and a half inch arms, but I probably have to go from about 210 to 225. I'm not doing this because right now at 210 pounds, I need to eat about 6,000 calories. To go even higher than 210, I would need 62 to 6,500 calories, which is insane. So it really comes down to calories, you guys. And here's the thing about calories. The more calories you eat up to a certain point, again, you, want, you only wanna go about 500 calories above your maintenance. So whatever you need to maintain your weight, go 500 calories above that. Here's the awesome thing. Once you start eating more, when you guys come to the gym, it's gonna be extremely easy to start lifting heavier weights. If you notice, every time you go to the gym, you struggle to lift heavier and heavier weights. You fail to progressively overload. The reason why you're failing is because you're not eating enough. So literally calories in versus calories out. The thing is you can have like not even that intense workouts and still build muscle if your diet is on point. Like if you're eating enough calories, you don't need to go super hard in the gym. I've seen people at commercial gyms that are like 130 pounds and their intensity level is insane. They are trying their hardest. And every day for, I. The one person I think for like two years, I, I've seen them and they just stayed at like 130. Meanwhile, I would be eating enough calories. I would go in there. I'd put maybe an 80, 90% intensity. Sometimes it didn't even look like I was working out and I would still build muscle and get stronger because really it comes down to your calories, you guys. So if you want to get bigger arms for skinny guys, um, if you're struggling, I would really, really recommend tracking your calories and maybe upping your calories for a couple of weeks, watching the scale, make sure that scale is going up over time. End of video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.